So let's start with question number 25. What is a three-state workflow in SharePoint? Now, we have already discussed in the previous question that SharePoint workflow basically sits on top of Windows workflow and creates human-centric workflow or content-centric workflow. Depending on, you have, you have attached to a list, you have attached to a document or a folder, etc. Now, SharePoint has given some workflows which an end user can use and attach it to a list, a content type and create their own workflow which is suitable for their environment. Now, when I'm talking about end users, I'm talking about actual end users. I'm not talking about developers here. So, end users like accountant or HR person can, can use this ready-made workflows given by SharePoint and attach it to a list and create a workflow by themselves without the help of a developer. Right. Now, SharePoint has two parts, as we all know. One is a WSS part and one is a MOS part. Now, WSS is free. So, if you have bought Windows 2003 server, you can just install the WSS framework and, and use your SharePoint environment. While MOS basically utilizes WSS and has additional features to it. And it's a paid version. It's an enterprise version of Microsoft. All right. So, any workflows which come in WSS are free. Any workflows which go in MOS are paid. The three-state workflow is a free workflow because it comes in WSS. So, what we'll do is that in this session, we will try to understand that how we can utilize three-state workflow practically in our projects. When we talk about workflows, there are two important things in a workflow, the state and a transition. Now, as the name suggests, three-state workflow, so there are three states and there are two transitions. So, if your workflow has three states and two transitions, or if the requirement of a workflow is such that there are only three states and two transitions, then definitely three-state workflow is the right choice for it. There are two things to be remembered about three-state workflow. First is that it comes free with WSS. Second, it's a ready-made workflow given by WSS. So, the choice to be made when to use three-state workflow, if your workflow has three states and two transitions. So, as a simple exercise, what we will do is that we will create a simple task review workflow in which the administrator will first create the task and initiate the task. The task is then automatically assigned to a reviewer. The reviewer then reviews the task, puts in his comments and says that this task is in progress. Once he marks that the task is in progress, it is automatically assigned to the acceptor. The acceptor logs in, completes the review and closes the, closes the task. So, in other words, there are three states and there are two transitions. So, what we'll do, what we'll do is that we'll take up the three-state workflow and try to see that try to see that how we can implement this practically. So the first step we need to do is that we need to create three users because in our workflow process we have administrator, we have a reviewer, and we have an acceptor. So the first thing what you need to do is uh, you need to add these users to your SharePoint uh, site. But in order to add the user to your SharePoint site, you need to first add them to your computer. So go to manage computers means you need to add the users to your server. So go to manage computers and go to your local users and add those users to your server. So at this moment, I have added acceptor. Again, uh, just a point to be noted, keep the member of users as users. The administrator I already had over here. In case you don't have, you need to add it manually and then you need to add the reviewer. So we have all the users added to it. Nice and good. Now, the second step, we need to assign these users to our site. So, go to site actions, go to site settings, go to people and groups, go to learn SharePoint owners. Now, my site name is learn SharePoint owners, so that's why it's showing me learn SharePoint or else it will be your site name owners. Now, here you need to click on new and add users. So, what I've done is that I've added all my users to this SharePoint site, that is Learn SharePoint. So, I've added the acceptor, I have added the administrator, and I have added a reviewer. So, this is the first step which you need to complete in the three-state workflow. Now, step number two, what we'll do is that we'll create a simple team site in which we will define a workflow. So, let's create a simple team site. Go to site settings. Go to I'm sorry, go to site actions, go to create and say create sites and workspaces. 
Now over here you can have a blog, a wiki site, a blank site. Until now we have been only working with a blank site. So let me create a team site because as soon as we have a team site, we have collaborations. Uh, we can have a dashboard, we have list on which we can apply workflows. So let me name this as my team site. My team. Let me give a nice name. My team site. So that's the second step which we need to do. So here's our team site which is created. Now one of the things to be remembered about SharePoint workflow is that it get attached to some content type. Now that content type can be a list, can be a folder, can be a task, etc. Because once that workflow is attached to a content type, it forms that human centric workflow or it forms that content centric workflow which can be utilized in SharePoint. Now if you look at a requirement, in our requirement, we have, uh, you know, in our requirement, the administrator creates a task, the reviewer reviews the task, and the acceptor finally closes the task. So, in other words, the task is our content type. So, we need to attach our three state workflow with the task. So, go to my team site, go to tasks, click on settings, click on list settings, and then click on workflow settings. Let's give a nice name to this. Now, you can see that I have selected the three state workflow template here or in case this was if, if I had MOS installed in my PC then I would have seen re more ready-made workflows here so currently I only see this free workflow that is my that is the three state workflow which is available in WSS in my PC there is only WSS installed currently so uh, so, so the, for that reason I am only seeing the three state workflow over here so let's give a nice name to this my workflow and we want that this workflow should start as soon as a task is created in the list, in the task list. So I don't want a manual process to happen. It should just start when a new item is created. And then click next. Now, we also need to define that what are the different three states in the workflow. So we'll say that, okay, when the status field is not started, that means that it is the initial state. When the status field is in progress, that means that it is the middle state. And when the status field and when the status field is completed, that means that the workflow can be terminated, right? Now, once we have defined the different three states of our workflow, we also need to define that what will happen when the workflow is initiated, and what will happen when the workflow changes to its middle state, right? Now, as discussed uh, in the PPT, let's go to a PPT. What we have said over here is uh, what we have said over here is that administrator creates and initiates a task and the task is then assigned to the reviewer so in other words once the task is created by the administrator it needs to be assigned to the reviewer so we will say okay task assigned to custom reviewer and remember that we have created the reviewer user now when the workflow changes to a middle state or when the workflow changes its uh, its state you would like that this should be assigned to the acceptor for closure. So that's one more. So now that we have filled up all the fields or we have defined all the necessary parameters of our three state workflow, we can now click, click OK and our workflow is now created. Now let's see that how the workflow will work. So I'm logged in as administrator. So let me create a new task. And let's name this task as SharePoint. And what I'll do is that I'll make a small spelling mistake here. This is SharePint. And I will leave this spelling mistake for the reviewer to close. Now once I click this or once I create this task, what will happen is that this will get assigned to the reviewer. Because that's what the workflow we, has de that's what the workflow we have defined. So let me log in as reviewer now. So here's the task is created. It's in progress. So let's log in as log in as reviewer and see that if the reviewer can view this task. So reviewer. And you can see that once you're logged in as a reviewer, you can see that the task is assigned to you. So click on it. Let's edit the item. Let's correct the spelling. And let me say that this task is in progress. 
and now once I define this or once I once I set this task in progress, it's assigned to the acceptor for closure. So I say okay, and that's in progress. Now I log in as an acceptor. So sign in as a different user. Acceptor. Now you can see that the task is now assigned to the acceptor. Right. So the acceptor logs in and he sees that the spelling is proper, everything is fine. He clicks edit item and completes the task. Now if you go to the workflow history, the workflow history can be seen in the my workflow. You will see that the administrator initiated the task, the reviewer reviewed it and said that it is in progress, the acceptor completed the task and the workflow was completed. So that was a requirement and that's how we completed using three state workflow. Right. Now, there are also other workflows which are available in MOS. Currently, I have WSS installed in my PC, but there are other workflows like the collect feedback workflow, collect signature, dis disposition workflows, approval workflows. So if, if you are buying MOS or if you are buying the enterprise edition of SharePoint that is MOS, then you can get more of these kind of workflows which can really help you to minimize uh, your development effort. So here's some ready-made workflows given by MOS. The first one is approval workflow. It basically is, uh, it basically has approvers who can approve and reject a document and then it can reassign to somebody else. Then collect feedback, for example, sometimes you route a document for review and the reviewer can provide a feedback. Collect signatures, for example, uh, if suppose you have a document where you want that the person should also attach his signatures while the workflow is, is being executed. Disposition workflow, you know, where when the document is expired and when there is a retention, and it allows to either retain or delete the expired documents. So in other work, in other uh, words, you know, we can have more ready-made workflows if you buy MOS. So that's all about ready-made workflows. We had discussed the tri-state workflow, which is free with WSS. Then we have just gone through these four workflows, which are available in MOS. I'm not showing the practical of these four workflows because it is very much similar to the tri-state workflow. And I have taken a tri-state workflow because if somebody is not having MOS, then he can at least uh, do practically the tri-state workflow. So I hope that this session was useful about ready-made workflows. And in the coming up session, we will try to create more custom workflows.